UK outdoor socket outlets and what to look for when you buy in them. Now it's easy to go along and get the cheapest outdoor socket and fit that, but you might find that you've got some problems with it when it comes to using it and when it comes to the bad weather as well. So what sort of things should you look for on an outdoor socket? Well, the first thing is it should be of a really strong, robust type of plastic and not a type that is brittle and is just going to crack or shatter on impact. It should have a good ability to take some impact because this is outdoors. Something could hit it, something could drop on it or whatever. The next thing is obviously it should have a closing lid, a one that closes securely. Now often the good ones have a piece of foam around the outside so that even with the plug-in, there is foam that kind of squashes onto the cable, clamps onto it so that nothing gets in in any direction even the bottom is securely clamped and sealed the other thing is you should consider what type of plug you are putting in there so the standard plug that's on a lawnmower or whatever those will be fine in there now if you've got one of these power supply units so for example it's christmas lights outdoor christmas lights and or a pump for the pond and it's got the plug is actually one of these power supply types that isn't going to fit in this outdoor socket without the lid being able to close so as soon as it rains that's not going to be much use what you would do with those instead though is have a socket that's mounted into an outdoor enclosure so you would put that in place seal it all up and do it that way but for standard plugs this normal outdoor socket will do it. The other thing to look out for as well is some of them are switched and some are unswitched. So it's handy to have one that's got its own switch. The cheaper ones tend not to have a switch on them. And then security as well. So what's the stop next door or someone using your supply? A lot of the decent ones now not only the lock on the bottom, but where it locks, there's a little hole that you can use and put a padlock on. So those are handy. You can actually put a padlock through that locking mechanism as well. And the other method to do this is to actually have a switch supply from inside so that when you're not using it, you can switch it off and no one else is going to pinch it. So if you want any more information on any of these outdoor sockets, the range you can get and what you need to meet your requirements for what your project is then just get in touch